Hi, thank you for joining me for another art video. In this week's video, I'm continuing this commission painting. In last week's video, I shared with you the process of painting the sky and today we are moving on to painting the tree. Once again, I will add a link of the reference photo that I've used for you to open on another screen if you want to paint along, but it will also appear on this video. I start off by painting the darker shades of the tree on the left and I'm using a mixture of burnt umber, Payne's grey and a touch of sap green. The trick of painting a tree that looks realistic is to look very closely to your reference photo and look for shapes. Look where's the darker shapes and the lighter shapes and paint accordingly. I've increased the video speed. I don't really paint this fast. It's just to prevent the video from being too long. So please pause the video if you are painting with me and trying to keep up. As I paint the dark shades, I already start to bring in some lighter shades by adding a bit of white. I use short brush strokes in different directions and do most of my mixing on the painting so that I get different shades and not one solid color. This also helps to make the tree look more realistic. With yellow ochre I am adding lighter shades. Continue with your dark mixture to bring in detail where you painted light shades. Make sure to put detail with short brush strokes all over the tree even on the dark shades that you painted. Use white to paint the lightest shade and add a bit of yellow ochre too. I'm painting while the dark shade underneath is still wet so this helps to get the lighter green shade as the white and the yellow ochre blends with the dark shades of green that's already on the tree. I add a bit of blue that I used for the sky so that it looks like the sky can be seen through the tree here and there and once again according to the reference photo. Continue by adding lighter shades.
I'm adding a bit more detail by painting an even darker shade on top of the dark green and I'm using Payne's Grey and a bit of Burnt Umber for this darkest shade. For the right side of the tree I'm using a different approach. Instead of painting a large area with a dark shade and then adding the lighter shade, I'm painting a smaller piece at a time and painting both darker and lighter shades on the small piece before moving on to the next piece. You can try both and decide how you like to paint. I do a combination of the two when painting. I always paint the background behind the tree a bit into the space of where the tree is going to go. I just find this easier than to paint in bits of sky around the edges of the tree, especially while the paint is still wet. I use more green with my brown and paints grey for the dark shades on the right side of the tree as the tree is just a bit lighter on that side. I'm adding a bit of primary yellow for the lighter shades instead of using yellow ochre and this is also just because the side of the tree is lighter than the other side.
I'm painting the tree's trunk with burnt umber. With burnt umber, green and paints grey, I'm adding the last dark shades of the tree. I'm adding white and yellow ochre for the lighter shades. And a bit of green. Continue with green and yellow ochre. Back to white for the lighter shades. Add white and yellow ochre to the trunk. I know that on the reference photo it is just a dark shade but I felt that it's needed for a lighter shade as well. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope that it will help you on your painting journey.